Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Today I'm going to do another Harry Potter printables. This is going to be volume 7 and if you're not familiar with this series of videos that I've done, it's basically just a whole bunch of printables having to do with Harry Potter. They're just completely random stuff that usually doesn't have any type of like connection other than it's from Harry Potter. You might already be aware that Warner Bros. has taken down some of my templates in the past. A lot of this stuff is um, just, you know, stuff you can usually just search Google and find. However, I've taken it and put my own spin on it, made my own version of it. So most of this, I'm just going to, you're going to be able to download this for free. There is one item, however, that I do think might cause some trouble with Warner Bros. if I leave it with uh, just the public templates, which is the Beetle the Bard cover. That one, I'm feeling like I probably shouldn't share publicly. So if you want to get your hands on that, as well as everything else that I've done, you can check out my Patreon. Um, as far as the free templates go, everything in here is going to be uh, included other than that cover. You can check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're going to need, as well as the links to the templates and my Patreon. Let's get started. First up, we have this Ministry of Magic This Way sign. And this is something for Harry Potter parties. And um, basically you would put this on the inside of your toilet lid. So when it opens up, uh, this is what they see with an arrow pointing down. Or if you don't wanna do that, like if you're worried about it getting wet, you could uh, put it up above your toilet. This is a an original design by me, obviously instead, except for the uh, Ministry of Magic logo, I didn't design that. But anyways, yeah, the layout and everything is done by me. A version of this was actually included in Harry Potter Printables Volume 1. However, that one was just a plain white background with the Ministry logo and just the default generic Harry Potter font that says Ministry Magic this way with an arrow pointing down. I decided to kind of make it look more like it's from the Wizarding World. This was printed on a thick cardstock. And yeah, we just wanna go ahead and cut off all of the white space from around the image. And so once you're done, it should look like this. Next, we have the uh, Hogwarts Library Restricted Section sign. And this I printed on regular paper. And I'm just gonna use a piece of chipboard or cardboard to uh, thicken this. So basically I'm just gonna glue this down and then cut it out. And there we go. And now that this Hogwarts restricted section sign is cut out, glued on this uh, piece of cardboard, now it's thick enough we can just hang it up or stand it up somewhere on your bookshelf. Alternatively, you could put this in like a fancy looking or vintage looking uh, frame or something. And that would be pretty cool too. And up next, we have these Weasley's Wizard Weezes kind of like table or shelf design sort of. And I'll show you what I mean once I get these cut out but I have them in three different colors. Basically, you're gonna want to cut the white away from this. And I did this by hand the first time I made these and it was uh, pretty annoying <laughs> to, to be honest because it, there's a lot of zigzags and there's a star pattern on the side here. It was just really tedious. So I also created some Cricut templates where you don't actually see the white and I have a Cricut cut guide that you can use to cut this out in Cricut Design Space. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the Cricut to cut mine out just because it's easier and faster and less of a headache. So once you have all these cut out, if you used your Cricut, um, you might notice that there are maybe a couple of the edges here that look like they have white on them still. So just go ahead and trim those off. So now you should be able to use these just to line uh, the edge of your table or something, however you wanna do it. Um, what I would do is take it and use tape just to you know tape one of them along the edge of your table, along the top, and then line them up and tape the other one next to it so that they kind of flow into each other like this. The next thing that I have for you guys is this uh, Death Day party invitation from Nicholas de Mimsey Porpington, which is Nearly Headless Nick. 
And uh, yeah, this is for his 500th Death Day party. Um, and this design is completely original. This was not in the movie. This was only in the book. And so yeah, this I complete. I designed this completely from scratch. So I hope you guys like this one. And basically, again, you're just going to cut the white out from around this. Um, I printed mine on cardstock, and again, I'm going to use my Cricut, so I'm going to use this one without the white around, and the Cricut is going to cut this out for me. When you have the Death Day Party invitation printed and cut out, it should look like this. And the last thing that I have for you guys today is this, the Tales of Beetle the Bard book cover. And this is a completely customized book sleeve. This is the design by Mina Lima for the book. I've just kind of altered it to fit on this copy of the Tales of Beetle the Bard. This is the 2008 hardback copy. Um, so yeah, if you have this, that's specifically what this is sized to fit. So this is going to replace the cover that's on your book. Now, the one that, I, that you're looking at right now, this was printed on my inkjet printer at home on 11 by 17 paper. So if you, if you have the means to print on 11 by 17, all you have to do is cut this out and you're done. However, I also have a laser printer at home that prints much nicer. As, as you can see, there's like a little bit of a shine to it. Um, but unfortunately, it only prints in uh, eight and a half by 11. So I had to sort of piece this together. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward, but yeah, I basically this part that folds on the inside of your book here on the laser printer version is a lot more narrow. Um, so that was one change that I had to make to get everything to fit on just two uh, pieces of paper. So we're going to start off by cutting away the white from the template, but for now, we're just going to cut off the uh, vertical parts um, just on the edges here. So by that, I mean um, we're just going to cut the sides off and leave the bottoms, uh, the bottom parts that are white on there. And that's so that after we glue this together, we're going to have to line it up and glue it together. And once that's done, uh, we'll be able to cut the white off all at the same time so that we make sure that they both line up properly. And then the very last thing we need to do is cut the white off from the top and the bottom of the template. So now the book cover should fit right on top of, or right around this copy of Beetle the Bard. So the part that has that pattern on it is going to fold inside the book. And then the template will wrap around the book just like this. And then the last part will fold on the inside of the book on the other side. And now you should have your own uh, copy of Beetle the Bard with this new cover. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. I hope you liked all of the things that I designed for you here. If you'd like a chance at winning the items that I made in this video today, you can check out the description box below for the giveaway link. There's also down there a 40K giveaway, which is for a Muggle Magic mystery box. It's gonna contain seven mystery items, two of which I have never released on my channel before, and I'm not going to release those DIYs until after the box is won and received. Speaking of giveaways, I have a winner to announce for the Supernatural Hunters Kit, and the winner is Kalen Pilati. Congratulations, and I've sent you an email with instructions on how you can claim your prize. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.